And don't forget to go to our Live in the D Facebook page and answer our Couch Club question for today, which is, what is your favorite frozen food? For the longest time, the trend inside homes has been, you know, the open concept was, the, you know, the great room with the really tall ceiling and the open kitchen and a dining room. It all seems to kind of blend together into one space, sometimes echoey. Now, as people spend more time at home, they are looking for personal space that isn't their bedroom. So how do you divide and conquer? Well, that brings us to Local 4 style editor John Jordan. Uh, I don't see him. He's camouflaged. He's got to be there somewhere. John? <laughs> Yeah, well, oh, there you, know. you are. <laughs> What's going uh, on? Well, we're going to divide and conquer because uh, one of the most uh, sought after topics these days on search, search engines regarding interior design is room dividers. Uh, obviously, because we're delineating space uh, for different purposes uh, now that a lot of people are spending time at home. And as you know, Jason, because you're a fan of mid-century modern, um, you know, design, room dividers were very popular in the 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, in my apartment here. Uh, this is a uh, mid-century modern uh, wooden uh, room divider. And, it, the, you know, the difference between a room divider and a bookshelf is that it is finished on both sides. Um, you know, you don't have pegboard or something ugly on the back. So you can actually see through it. So it's like a bookshelf that doubles as a room divider. Right. And you can, you know, make it as opaque or as transparent as possible, depending on what you put on the shelves. So you can have more privacy, less privacy. I made a uh, room divider out of this metal shelf. I just put it on wheels. And so a room divider doesn't necessarily have to go from floor to ceiling. Um, and you know, you can put something like a plant on top of something that's this height to give you a little bit more privacy. Um, I picked up these, uh, these are wallpaper rollers that they use to print wallpaper on. And I've used these a bazillion ways. Um, you could put sculpture, you could put, you know, structural pieces like this on top of a lower shelf to be able to create that privacy. Uh, and you can do this uh, relatively inexpensively, yes? So this is, this is brilliant, even if I do say so myself. I thought of this. <laughs> all on my own and as you know i'm not opposed to stealing ideas from others but this is my idea this is just a clothing rack and a cloth shower curtain so if you don't have you know carpentry skills or tool set this is something that's really easy i mean the rack was under twenty dollars this is from Target. I found this yesterday, uh, and I like the ombre effect, the graduation of color. And actually, here's another thing I thought of. As you expand the uh, rods here, you can expand the size of the room divider. And if you, you know, if you don't want a curtain, it could be as easy. This is just foam core board with um, Velcro attaching it to the rack. And you can see where you could put, you know, art, your kids' art, uh, postcards, whatever. This is a really easy way to create that's private cool. space. Hey, uh, John, I'm told that's our time. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you.